Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to show a progress bar or image while the while our app is waiting for a particular function to finish in our Android app. So we'll take an example where we will try to access an IP address and we'll see. So we'll start. We'll create a very simple uh, layout. So click next. You can name this app anything. So say for example, wait. Uh, progress bar progress bar app I'll click finish and I will wait for my environment Android Studio ID to load once the environment loads first and foremost thing what we'll do is we'll go to our manifest file and give the user access for internet Okay, so why we need this is because we will try to the function which we will try to see over here is to access an IP address. So we will need the declaration in the uh, manifest file that will do so. Second thing in uh, layout, I think I will keep this text view. Probably this will use to display our IP address. So I'll just name it as text view. Apart from that, probably will trigger. Uh, will keep two buttons. One is uh, probably Okay, I'll name this as demo of progress bar. This this just I want to show you the limitations of okay. I think the spelling is wrong, so here it doesn't matter, but but still. Uh, here I'll show you the limitations or the capabilities of a progress bar, and another button will be to enable uh, what should I say? Enable wait. Simple. So this is the second button is where I will show you the main functionality. So I will bring it a little bit down. So this is just for demo. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, over here again I will give the constraints. Otherwise it will give me an error. It will not let me proceed. And another thing is what we will insert a progress bar. So you just search for progress and it will give you. And yeah, you can you can even put it in the float window. The video for that is there in my website. But over here, we'll just show it in the same layout. I'm, I'm not trying to invest too much of time from the layout perspective. So once we have done all this uh, layout thing, we can go back to Java. And first and foremost thing, what I'll do is I'll quickly create few class variables. One is a text view. And the other could be the progress bar. So these two, I will associate. No, no, no. I think I did something wrong. Or just press enter. So I'll just, yeah, I know I'll private and progress bar so these two I will associate with my widgets in the layout so text view find view by id r dot id dot text view so if you recall the id which we gave us text view over there and for the progress bar I think it will r dot id dot progress bar you can even go back and check the id of the respective widget so here if you click uh, this is the id which here you have to give okay i think again i did something anyway uh, further what we can do is we can create two uh, methods class uh, methods public one is for button demo and the other one i'll use put the functionality later on and the other one could be uh, button weight uh, 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 functionality. Okay. So again, this this name doesn't matter. So you just give view view. I think in the above one, I just forgot to give a local variable for the argument. Perfect. I'll go back to the layout, not not the manifest file layout. And over here, in for each of these button. Uh, scroll down you'll get something called on click attribute and over here this one is for demo and the second button could be for the actual functionality which I want to show so first button in fact you can ignore just for this video I'm trying to showcase over here uh, that is very simple to implement a progress bar so first I will complete quickly this button demo so what I want to show you is but set visibility and visible no no visible this is the functionality which will make it visible uh, but of course, uh, I mean, okay, we can do one thing. We can first check whether the progress bar uh, get visibility. Is equal to, no, 
gone yeah so if it's gone then do then set the visibility to control x control v to visible else uh, set it to progress bar gone if it's not gone so this way we can toggle between uh, we'll see in the actual uh, when we run this code when we run this app we'll see how it comes up but yeah this is the simple functionality i wanted to show you it's so simple uh, but before running i'll just complete the other method as well so here what we'll do is we implement some functionality and the best one will be to access something over internet so what we'll do before running our uh, or before implementing our main facility i'll just quickly create something called executor service please note prior to executor service which is a part of i think uh, java utils if i'm not wrong let me see uh, this is a part of java util concurrent class before this there was something called async uh, class which android used to provide but i think now it's deprecated so better to use uh, uh, executor service directly and over here what we can do is we can uh, use okay no i think i missed something over here it should have been new um, execute executors dot new single yes this one okay so this will create your executor service and then we'll need a handler and probably what we can do for handler uh, object is we can just create a new handler with looper get main loop looper perfect yeah so once we have it now we will uh, run or create a kind of uh, uh, executor uh, we'll execute on this executor service so we'll show how we can do it we can do an execute and here new runnable will create and over here this is the method uh, probably it, of course it creates a, a separate thread where we can run it run our main uh, method and wait for it to finish to do certain operations so say for example once whatever we do our to do i'll just keep a note for the timing and proceed so once our to do is over what we can do is we can use our handler and post again new runnable and this is the place i think i should first give a full stop here this is a place where we can uh, set what we should do once our uh, this particular operation is done over here so and and please note over here you can access the uh, your your ui interface ui thread so over here what we can do is we can set our progress bar progress bar to set visibility and here we can set to gone because once the operation is done our wait time is over but I think before operation starts, we should have set it to visible also. So what I'll do is just before going here itself, I'll set my uh, progress bar, set visibility to visible. Perfect. And also what I, we can do is we can, uh, once it's gone, uh, what we can do is we can also set our text view to set text. And we can set something, whatever it returns over here. So probably for that, uh, or, or, or I will do one thing. I'll just create another class variable private string string network uh, i net or, or i'll just leave it as network okay and we'll use this string over here to get an output from here okay so now let's start our main method so main uh, uh, method or main functionality is pretty simple it's just to get i net address but what we'll do is we'll first create a try catch and because it's uh, uh, it's always good to have it uh, in terms of capturing any kind of exception uh, which while accessing the internet it may throw and i should have given this unknown host but uh, unknown host exception exception also will be fine or you can also give only the exception or i will go with only exception for the time being okay because, because this is more of a superset, it will capture all the other exceptions as a subset. So once we have it exception, what we'll do, okay, probably I'll just quickly finish this, yeah. We'll also create an inet address, inet address, and inet address, and here we can get the inet address dot get by name. And you can use the string host, whatever. So I think I'll go with the simple one google.com yeah that's all i guess so once we have it probably what we can do is we can capture uh, the whatever it returns in a string uh, format so the string which we 
just now created above string network and I need address dot to string and this will convert into to string or probably what we can also do is we can quickly put a check here whether this is not equal to null so this is equals to okay so I should put a negation over here this in the start and control x because I'm checking over here whether it should not be equal to uh, empty then only you should change to uh, to string otherwise it's fine I mean we can just keep it uh, whatever and what else we can do over here is we can yeah so what I'll uh, sometimes it may be fast so I'll do one thing I'll just create also a kind of sleep system uh, clock dot sleep for some uh, milliseconds so probably two to the milliseconds which will be equal to two seconds should be fine so why I'm putting this is so that at least in our demo it's pretty visible that uh, progress bar was visible for a couple of seconds and then it went off after the, those many seconds I think here I should put this one and that's all I will run the code I think nothing more is required and let my emulator come up where we can demonstrate so in the meantime I will just clean it up So you can use any any functionality over here. You can put your functionality over here. You need not to. I, I just for demo purpose, I'm accessing internet because uh, accessing internet is one of the uh, tasks which may take really long time based on your network speed. So it's always a good idea. Please note in this app, we have uh, two methods. So one button is just for demo of this progress bar on and off, how easy and simple it is. And the second one is where, what I really wanted to show you that how you can wait for a particular method to finish off. Uh, before displaying your progress bar so i'll wait for my emulator to come up uh, then only i'll run this of course okay our app has come up and it looks pretty cool i mean uh, first we can oh, but by the way what we are seeing is by default it's showing the progress bar so i think what we could have done in our own create method itself we could have first set it as set visibility as gone or we could have set in the layout itself as uh, gone by default but nevertheless I put it gone here first I'll uh, test my this first button which is this particular method so whenever it's gone uh, it should be I mean it should toggle basically between visible and gone so yeah if you see if it's not uh, there then if you click this button it will come up and it will just show that it's waiting for some operation to uh, happen otherwise it will just wait uh, make it a stop and gone okay i'll not test this other functionality also before i run again to test whether this is working fine or not line number 32 which we have just now added so over here uh, what we are doing is we are trying to test this particular method whether it can fetch me some kind of inet address for this uh, google.com and display it uh, and wait for two seconds so why i put two seconds is so that it's pretty evident uh, that is something is happening so i click on this uh, button and if you noticed it waited for i think probably a couple of seconds and also in the meantime it fetched this address and it displayed so if i click again uh, this time since the address has already been fetched so i think it, it just showed that um, uh, circular bar because of this 2000 this wait time or what we can do is we can quickly comment this out and see i think uh, and rerun the emulator or rerun the app and probably it will be very difficult for us okay first of all if you saw when we have rerun this line number 32 is working now because by default uh, no that is not visible and if I test it it's coming up it's going okay and now we'll test this particular method uh, so if you saw uh, if it's able to fetch very quickly it was not visible so that's why just for demo purpose I'm keeping it for a couple of seconds so that even if this operation is pretty fast at least it's visible uh, that there is some kind of weird symbol coming up and of course uh, you should never do this this line of 52 is not uh, you should never implement in your code but this is just to demonstrate that some task which takes a couple of seconds this weight symbol will come up and keep us scrolling like this it can also be implement, implemented in a floating window which you can bring on top of you and there is a video on my channel uh, for how to implement a floating window that's pretty simple and straightforward but nevertheless this video focuses mostly on how to bring up a progress bar uh, whenever there is a heavy uh, or uh, method which takes a long long time to finish it up so i hope this video is useful to you uh, i'll put of course all the code on my website please refer to it if you have any questions or suggestions then uh, please put in the 
uh, comment section below and if you have uh, and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye